You're ready. You're ready. You're ready. Yes. 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 You have you just have stepped out into, into the world, world of chaos. chaos. Where everybody, Where everybody goes, goes hard. hard. So like like he's like him. So now like again I'm playing the fifty fifth. I'm bumping. I'm I didn't play. I played against him. I wish I had to play against him earlier, but later I'm going. I'm playing. I get to finally play against the Lamont Jones, right? Mm, tough, tough. Let me give you my my story of Lamont Jones. So. At my prime when I was killing this and that, and Gaucho used to beg me to play and call me. I used to play in LaGuardia House. Um, I would get 25 in there. I would kill LaGuardia House and be like, yeah, I'm going to come. I'm gonna, you, know, you know, if you was nice, they'd be like, yo, what's up? You going to play? And you're, yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't playing with them. Right? So, cause I'm, right? <laughs> so my boy's playing, and Fred Neal's trying to get in contact with me. God bless the dead. My boy's playing, and my other boy goes to Brooklyn Tech. Mm. I'm in Salesian. My boy that goes to Brooklyn Tech, he's coming up town to the Bronx, said they call me Ice. Yo, Ice, I need to bring you down to Brooklyn, son, because this is a nigga down here named Tick. I need you to bust his ass. It's a nigga named Tick down here. <laughs> Is he nice? Yeah, he nice, son. He be killing dudes there. But I'm telling you, son, yo, he's nice, son, but yo, you got to play against him. That's there. That's the legion. Fast forward. Nobody that Gaucho's calling. My man's playing with Gaucho's winning league. He's like, yo, Ice, you should come play, yo. Yo, is this dude named Lamont Jones? Yo, he's the truth, son. You and him in the back court were killed. Fred is telling me about Lamont Jones. I never put Tick and Lamar Jones together. Right, right, right. So I never see so I never get to see him play through all that what y'all saw, bro. I never saw. Him. Right? I never saw. I saw him and Charles in 55th. Like the soul in the hole. I didn't play soul in the hole. I played it's a feel out thing. When it first started. I didn't play in the soul in the hole because my man Tone for Brooklyn wanted me and Future to come play down. I, my man who had the car took Future and then take me because he wanted to play. Oh, so man. Future went down there. And so when people say that, and that's, again, it goes back to this. If you ask me my regret, I wanted some of that soul in the whole shit growing up. I wanted some of that because I hear a lot of names that was killing, and I was a young age, and I played certain areas. I hear legends from Brooklyn, and I played against, and I'd be like, yo, he was, I like, I like, like, one of y'all legends from Brooklyn, I, I, I had so much bump and grind with him, and 54th Street, they had the 54th Street YMCA tournament back in the days on 54th Street. He's yeah, a yeah. legend. He's one of the first white boys that, ha, 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 my man, Trent Tate, so man. I, hey, I, oh, my man, that's my guy. Play with him. Yes, that's my guy. So, my when, I, Salute, so, when, I, so when I was with the Broncos, he was with the older team. Yes, yes. Right? So so I played against guys like that. And it was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you, you know, Tate was nice. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah, trust me, trust me. Especially he if you played, get, he played with me when I got that trophy. Especially he told me I got Pat Burke's legs shit. twice. Yeah. He threw between his legs. We talking about 1988. He threw it between my guy Pat Burke legs. My guy Pat Burke turned around and he threw it back between his legs. The shit that bone collector and had a tech and had a tech on the bench. The shit that bone collector, not bone collector, all the guys, right? The shit that 
um that that people see on air one and yeah, that, yeah. when I be telling them and they be thinking I'm a hater, bro. I'm glad you say that. When I be telling them, yo, bro, I was doing that shit in 88, 87, <laughs> bro, 86. Yes, yes, that yes. is only a few was doing that. He's yep. one of them. Yeah. He's right. definitely one. He was a between the legs thrower, bro. Everybody wasn't doing that, right? No. Nope. So You're right. So word. So 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 now I'm just playing street ball. Um just I'm getting paid by I'm playing games. I, like I say, when I'm, I'm, I'm from the era, I'm playing street ball, and Alpo's right there. Rich Porter's right there. Right? These are the era I'm coming from. They, these are the gentlemen. Uh, we going to play in Jersey for 50000 with somebody. We going over here. We, like, I'm, 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 with the, I'm playing with Team Tyson. I'm playing with Tommy Hilfiger. I'm, I learned about getting a bag late, but I got the bag. When I got it, I made up quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, word. And then, like this is look, this is all before Air One, bro. Guess what I'm trying to tell you? Cause that's what I'm saying. I like, didn't play Air was One. Your was, bells, was your name ringing bells? Was your name so much that you didn't have to try out? Well, like, how did that connection happen? The Air One. This is. I'm still. I'm 55th. I'm going. Every, me and Future right now. Um, the the names ahead of us, the Master Robs, the nice yep. OGs. They're getting older now, so now. It's me and Future. We kind of we we dows in the Rucker Park Cup. It's better. we got our own team. Of course, you got the other players, but me and him is kind of like the entertainment. Y'all y'all revitalized the entertainment the part of it, right? The entertainment part of it because so the whole book Brooklyn store wasn't coming like that, so, right? So we we planned, and then <laughs> we started. Uh, we get introduced to the Harlem Rockets. It's like the Harlem Wizards. Me and Future start playing that. Now we get fake professional money, but professional all the wizards, right? But back then, dudes that was playing the street board games, some dudes was getting seventy five dollars a game. The highest paid dude was getting like one seventy five, one fifty. Me and Future back, we playing with this legit um circus type of team. We getting two hundred, two fifty a game. And we looking at the schedule, this should say we got 150 games. <laughs> you feel me and me, you know, me and me and Lloyd like this. <laughs> fuck what's going on in New York. So me and Malloy, we 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 go on the Harlem Rocket joint. We 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 throw each other out of you. If they bug it, we both could dunk. We dunk in, we throw out of you. We bring a 55th to that Harlem Wizard, bro, nobody was doing that shit we was doing, bro. They they could lie. They, we didn't have, most teams got routines. Our routine was just give them the ball. You don't know what the fuck they going to do. That's where, the, that's where we, when y'all see Aaron one and he dribbling and he jump over me. And we did that and that because we was born. So we were, we was doing that. He had his son at the time. I got mine. We getting that. We getting money doing that. We going back and forth to New York. We still be partying. Yo, our man's is coming to. Yo, we have some loyal friends. That's why for this basketball. Like we stand in Springfield, Mass. It's a party Friday night. My man is driving. Our man is driving from the Bronx to come get us to the take us to the party Friday night. We got to be back at the hotel Saturday morning. After the party, they bringing us back to Springfield, Mass. Damn. Then they got to go back home, but they just making sure we part. You know what I'm saying? So, right. so we doing that. We learning the we learning the street ball shit out, and then main event, right? Main event comes with the air one. He get somehow main events get called, and he calls me like, "Yo, at this time I'm 32. Now I done play." Street ball from 15 years old, bro. 16. I'm 32. I, well, where would the NBA say you will be past your prom, right? Word. But but now, 15, 16, 17, all the way to like 24, 25, 26. Jim Machine is a hot name. But but it's this little nigga called Skip to my loom coming up. It's a little dude, it's a young dude called Kareem Reed. It's a, it's a butter. It's a lot of us. Uh, it's uh, Sham Garden, Steph Marvin. So 
now they we the now they coming at us. Yes, y'all become the older gods. Yeah, and, and they the same way we feel if we get they, they crack our ass, so they coming. So now it's like damn, thirty. Mind you, at that time, uh, again, I never smoked no weed, playing sports, none. So the first time I ever smoked weed, I was twenty-seven. You know what I said to myself when I did it? I'm not going pro or nothing. <laughs> now, like, because even though I played with the hustlers, bro. That's the played, fucking drug. You just be like, ah, oh, fuck. Even though, even though I played with the hustlers, that they we was brain, we wasn't brainwashed, but we was brain. So saying, growing up, if you smoke weed and played against me and beat me, that's an embarrassment. If you did any drugs and beat me, my body is pure and clean. And you enjoyed so that was our fire to our team. And if my teammates here, they'd tell you my coach was Evie, got one of the best coaches in New York City. Coach Raw, everybody. And she'd be in Hollywood, like, yo, look at them. Those niggas is punk. Those niggas is crackheads. And we'd look and we'd be like, yo, two of these old, two of them are crackheads. Say, we gonna bust these crack, you know what I'm saying? So that, 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 that alone gave, gave the fire. So, like we played then like I said, now and one we started coming around with and one. We no, nobody knew what that shit was. Um Right. Like it just it came. They kinda had a the marketing thing. Main kid, yeah, main called me and said, Yo, is you this guys team. is like household names. The main called me, said, Yo, is this team they wanna try us, son. They wanna give us free sneakers. That's all we heard. That's all I heard. Free sneakers, word. The bus niggas ass, but we get them free sneakers. We go out to Jersey. We get them. They sit a limo. We're like, wow. You know what I'm saying? We we play. I don't even know that they taping it. We're not thinking about no videotape or nothing. And then a couple of months later, they come up with an idea of like a contract and want us to play, want us to go up to the office. We go up there. First day, I go up there. Before I sign a contract, I'm bugging. We all bugging for the first five or six. I go up there. These niggas got a, a Shane the Dribble Machine room with 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 pictures I know that I ain't a like fan. How you know where you get that West Falls picture from? Where you get this like so and right they got pictures, they got everybody got their room. Like so so that's dope. We never seen them. Like we in there. They talk about a contract, you wanna play, traveling. Yeah, we signed for seven seven thousand the first year. Like we, they people say we could have got jerk. We'd have did it for free. We was doing it for the love of the game. Yeah, and, and I, I, you remember you said you agreed to, but they just gave you sneakers. Yeah, I, geez, this I, is I, a plus. Our mindset when Emma first started wasn't about repping a company. It was right. about repping New York and the and culture was, and the culture of basketball. Yeah, right, and we want yep. to say that yo. Besides, we like yo because it was just us five that you know what. Go get some of the batters. That we are some of the batters. New York got some, like, we can make it. That's Hold on. It, it started with five of y'all? Six. It was me, Future, Headache, Half Man, Main Event, and Aircraft. Now, how come out of that six, Future was a part of the, the Street Ball Just Series? Because now, I talked about that in the future, but I just don't remember. I, know, I remember him answering so, that question. He um he he had a when, when before Air One could blow up, he he, he left and, and did and tried to and did like a, a deal with Shaq. Yes, yes, so, yes, so he, yes. So he left Air One and we we took off. Yeah, yeah. We we took off and. He he started doing the little things here and there. I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna speak about that in my documentary, bro. Okay, like, bet, bet. Because we, we man, no, 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 we touched on that in our interview as well. So we yeah, can yeah, no, 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 no. Um, because I, what I can't, I'm and I and I'm not talking about. It, I'm just saying, period. My my story is gonna be my story, but my story is gonna be 100% facts and truth. And as as grown men, only way these kids going to learn, I'm not talking about future. I don't want to know about it, but I'm just saying, period. The, yeah, only, yeah. Way, the only way these kids are going to learn, anybody is, if we tell them the truth. 
Yes. If we made fucked up situations in our lifetime and it ain't pan out and we still living and we still healthy, we still good, we gotta let we gotta tell us we got we gotta tell we we gotta stop painting pictures that's so false. There's a lot of false narratives paint painting pictures out there when it comes to this basketball shit. Right? Even some of the pros, the guys I be hearing who they they be complaining about how basketball is fucked up, but they ain't even they not they not giving back. Right, they ain't out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all right. bragging, y'all, y'all, y'all overseas, y'all smoking hookahs, y'all buying expensive belts and trying to be European. When it, when when that same kid, when when you learn from the OG and your block watching you play, and then you ain't been back. Back. That's why they, right. that's why basketball's fucked up. That's why they know the parks ain't safe. Ain't no Sunday morning runs. Right. I told you I played with the killers on a Sunday morning run. The killers, the shooters, they like basketball. Basketball, if you come out there, if that's 30, that still play, and they say, that, nobody going to shoot that park up, bro. They going to know you're out. Thought that, but now it ain't that. No, that's real. Top Notch has said, "Be accountable to show floor mistakes. Nothing is perfect." That's so real. I always tell kids, and even tell my peers, when we talking to these young kids, make sure they know they're going to a place that's going to fit their basketball style. Like I always say, I went to a school that didn't fit my basketball style. Right? And a lot of times we go for the name, we go for the hype, or we go for what people are telling us in our ear. And we're not going for what really works for us. That, that that's happening now with that's happening now with, with 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 youth sports. You get caught up and you may play you playing for a program at, at six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If you go on just to win and not to learn the game, you're gonna get cut in high school. Simple. I see the best kids at eight, nine to eleven, twelve score like they can shoot the ball like a mother. They get to the, the freshman year high school, can't even make the team because the coach don't even know how to deal with them. Right? All you want to do is you don't know no other aspect. Right? And now these the youth sports they press, press That's the so whole real. game. These little niggas don't know how to play man to man. No, they learn to play man to man at 14. Facts. You ain't teaching them help side D. You know, um, it's, I watch kids don't don't know how to box out, and you yelling at the kid, box out, box out. But then you ask that coach, yo, how many practices I got a week? They don't even practice. So, no, that's that's yo. You 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 hit on so many good points, man. Yo, it's, that's, it's crazy. Yo, that's, yo, that's what it is, yo. I'm telling you, it's like I say, the air one stuff. Like I said, that stuff was big. Um, it was big because it it took it brought me around the world. It took me. Yeah, like what what how many what what country did you visit, and what was your best country to visit, and why? I think almost uh, we've almost visited probably every country like two or three times, bro. Like I tell you, um, um, the experience of visiting country, I never thought I'd be like. In the Fiji Island, now you know what I mean. When people talk about the Fiji water, I, I, <laughs> I drunk in it. I swear, I bathed in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, like the Fiji, like uh, um, the whole. I did the whole, the whole Europe, the whole, right. the whole Asia. Um, That's crazy. And listen, it's dudes, it's dudes that play the Duke, North Carolina, Michigan. We ain't never do that. The dudes in the NBA ain't never do that, bro. Facts. Facts. Yeah, and one was so big. We was we was on the NBA hills. We had if you wasn't an NBA All Star, <laughs> you wasn't more popular than us. You had to be an All Star. You had like you couldn't just be a regular club. You know why? Because you was getting in the club behind us. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yo, the Detroit Pistons won the championship that year, the second championship. We was in a club. They were shouting us out. I went to, we went to DJ. We tell the story. Yo, 
yo, that's my man. Yo, yo, shut my man, Chalk. It was like, man, man, they don't be in the hood like y'all, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I learned, because being on TV, you can touch us, bro. Like, we was, yeah. we, we was the, we was the, do the air one stuff back then. I might, we might have pulled the tour bus up to your projects, bro. I took a shower in your crib. The whole, like, like, without knowing, like, that's, we, the most dangerous places in the world we wanted to visit. We from the, we hood dudes. That's right. You know and, and that show was so popular. That show was so popular. You know, when I was taking care of my nephew, we used to watch it together. And this yep. boy was very young. You know, when I had to go into my schools, the kids in the gym be trying the moves. And it reminded yep. me, of when we used to watch, NBA yep. players, yep. all this the gold titles, all-star yep. game. Whoever it was, the hottest person at the time, I remember yep. those kids doing. Yeah, how many? Yo, this only record that. labels get stuff like this, bro. Nobody. Let me else. see that. Labels. What that say? I can't really read it. It says, "Shane the Drill Machine for achieving sales." Of more than fifty thousand units and two million dollars at suggested retail price. Mm. This and this is volume. So volume and and, and our and, and our and our rap world. That's we went that's, platinum. That's double platinum. That's double platinum. Correct. We went double platinum, bro. Facts. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So, so like it's. Of, of of course, um, the business aspect, right? You learn the business aspect of that, right? Be, um, right, because people say we got wrong. I would, right? So that's like me saying. So, the NBA ain't robbing nobody. They not robbing all of y'all, right? We learn, right? We, be, it's, it's what you make of it, right? I tell people, it's make you, it's what you make of it, bro. We, we messed up. We made some bad. Of course, they made the millions and the millions and the millions. But I think coming in blind, we didn't have the right support, right? Meaning everybody supported us. I'm keeping real. Everybody supported us but New York. New York ain't really supported us. They kind of was hating on us. Some dudes felt they should have been down. Some dudes was like, ah, oh, yo, they yo, they messing up the game. Yo, um, the um, Rucker Park was mad of us saying that and one stole the players from them. It was so much controversy. Like it was like every but nobody sat down and said, Yo, listen, yo, now that you're here, let me get you the right lawyer. Let me get you the right business person. You know what? Let me help you out. Everybody was just pointing a finger and mad. And the same dude that was pointing a finger sometimes. I would see with their kids, and they'd be like, yo, this is my man right here. Yo, we grew up. Yo, take a picture with me. And I'd be like, yo. Right? You know what I'm saying? And and I, even like today, um, I'm going to blast them because I'm going to talk about my man. I'm too, some because I'm keeping real. Um, The EBC didn't like a lot of that stuff. Right? They didn't, mm -hmm. they didn't like it. I hope they watch it because I'm gonna tell them on their show too. I, I, you caught me on a good time because I don't hold. But I gotta, I gotta have some conversations with Al Cash, um, Dorian Graham, and all them because I like the, what they do on the IG with they show. But I'm noticing it's a lot of and one talk and not New York City basketball talk on there. It's a lot of it's a lot of you're picking up the end, you're picking up the same thing you was disrespecting. Woo! You know, talk I, that I, talk. I, I'm keeping it one. Talk that talk. You're picking it up, and I've been no and I, and I tell him to like I, I watch. I'm just saying. I'm just I watch, and I'm gonna say I watch my brother Dorian Graham. Talk about free throw contests and basketball, and he highlighted like the Nick Cannons and this and that. And then he highlighted my who I don't hate, but he highlighted the professor. And all I could say was like, hold on, you the same person that made this DVD talk about how pure street ball is, and all these fucking great street ball players that did it for real. You highlighting the celebrities? Why you ain't highlighting Kareem Reed? Why you ain't hot like 
and, those, and I hope they watch it because you know me. But listen, brother, you keep it. That's another reason why, your brother, we, I, you have said so many things that me and you, I connect with you on so many different levels. Yeah, right? Not, Usually it's for real, a lot of time, yeah, it's real. I, I'm, I'm making sure I get my point across in my questions. When you talk, fam, I just want to just shut the fuck up because you'll spend so many facts. Yeah, and it's just but, so real. Yeah, but but I just I just um I'm just I'm just um saying I'm just trying to highlight just different thoughts of the street ball, basketball, and if no doubt because I don't I don't care who it is. If you're there's, not no hate, your city, there's no hate the professor because sometimes no 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 but you use that hey but what I'm trying to say is um if we going if we gonna talk that talk for the New York state of mind where we when we mention uh, you can't say Lamont Jones. And professor in the same sentence. Not, not that they did it. So we're gonna talk New York about, and we're gonna take entertainment, basketball, and we're gonna talk about Air One. Then we can talk about them. And I'm not some of them, right? Now we talk about Ao. I can talk about Ao. We, we can talk about Ao. Ao, you know what I'm saying? But is that I, I, I've noticed that, bro. I've been watching it like, yo. I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna go over it, but fan. No, no, but they, I, I salute what they're doing. I salute what they're doing. Everybody wanted, not not you, but the the guy that they want to talk about it, and it's become a, it's become almost a everything. The conversation it goes back to that. I listen to the show to we're like, okay, 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 all right now. Ah, uh, my my guy Eric Hicks and game over. I'll special you sponsor over here, basketball head. Yo, Shane. Hey, he's from. I tell you, listen. Every Hicks is from Co-op City. So, yes, yes, BX. Wait, wait, see how God works. I had a conversation <laughs> about Every Hicks with my good brother Tommy Lee, and the conversation was, I don't. For many years, dudes, I don't know what it is with us brothers, but reaching out to each other seems to be the problem sometimes. Especially, I, I see what he do. He see what I do. And I think sometimes we get caught up with the same what I said. Yo, I see what he do. He see what I do. He should be reaching out to me. And he probably say the same thing, right? So I see what he's doing is dope. And I was supposed to go to an event, but I couldn't make it. But I, I want to say this to say that is I see what he's doing. And we from the Northeast Bronx, all us, and only way we, we win, all of us, we got to my pride is to the side for, because my truth sometimes make people not want to deal with me. But yeah, I know I I'm 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 a, I'm I'm a boss, but also not to be a worker. You feel me? I'm a team player. So E Hicks, we got to get together. We got to do something for the thing. We got to eat. We gonna we gonna we put it that way. We gonna connect, bro. Right? And then, I don't care about sponsorship sometimes, right, bitch? Because I admit my mission is I, I don't we don't need no we don't need no more kids in jail. We don't need no hood stories. We don't need no yo, we don't need no more playground legends. We had a bunch of them. We need student athletes. You know what I'm saying? We we you you your story is enough. Why well, I wanna hear another one of you? That's why you telling your story. You know what I'm saying? I your bro, I played in in I I I didn't go to prison, but I played it almost against. I played against prisons. I those are some my best games was against prison. Like these feds, I played against the feds in North Carolina. Your bro, I I seen it. I seen the tough guys, bro. I seen the tough guys, right? Right. I seen the guys with their shirt to the side, right? Right. I seen the guys I, that 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 I, I seen the guys. That we sometimes we get caught saluting, and when the guy that I, that we saluted, that wasn't the same guy that I saw, and I wasn't even in there. I just was a spectator. And from what the CEO told me, and what the other guys be talking about, this is a bunch of it ain't just one particular. But yo, know, that jail shit ain't that's that shit ain't real. That shit is whack, son. Yeah, we get we a lot of times we get caught up promoting the wrong things. But us in our neighborhoods, a lot of the trends, a lot of the words, a lot of the slang that come from jail, dudes use and pick up how the kids dress. It's, it's, I, I, I teach these things in school 
every day and try to teach these young men, y'all following the wrong dudes. You know, this is why guys like myself, yourself, Eric Hicks, the men, the real men that's in the neighborhoods that the kids can see and touch and emulate. Because we emulated some, some of the guys that we saw. Yeah, man. They, I, 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 when you, and then when you tell them about the, the, the just, you know, you know, I, I, I'm a young kid. My, I got OGs that play ball, bro. I escape stuff like me looking up to a guy, me and my boy playing basketball. We walking back from the basketball court. I'm young. We sitting on the bench. He pulls out his weed. I don't smoke weed or nothing. I'm think I'm 14, 13. He pulls out his weed. Me and my boy there. He takes the crack out. He puts it in the weed. He rolls it up. We just sitting talking to him. He's doing it. He sparks it up. He pulls it. This is a guy I thought was one of the nicest dudes, right? Mom, I tell you, he's a hero to me. He's nice. He takes a pull, woo, woo, woo. And then he goes, yo, y'all want some? What if I just say yeah? Because I looked up to him and I thought that shit was cool. The DMX story, right? Right? You know what I'm saying? So, like, like these are yo, these are a lot, yo, these are a lot of stuff. Um, and and forget that. And now we in the era, those we in the era, yo, we in the, the gift and a curse. The gift, the gift is for the grown ups. We smoke it. The curse is legal. It's fucking up all our young athletes because we're not telling them. When I was your age, I was a bum smoking weed. I didn't want to do nothing. I didn't have no life. I barely could afford the weed. We're not telling them that, bro. We They watching Nate's shit, and now you can't tell a kid, you know why? You tell a kid, yo, you want to make the league? No, they're going to tell you. Yeah, I just finished watching Up and Smoke. They said they were smoking throughout the whole NBA championship. You know what I'm saying? Um, the, the, we, we be smoking in front of the kids. The kid, like we, 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 we. Then we get mad when your kids smoke. And they promoting this shit. Got this shit on Showtime, right? Is it? Is that youth basketball tournaments? Right. It's it's parents from all neighbor everywhere that's bringing their kids to the game to get high. Nine year old games, eight year old game, kids, right? They 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 parking over there. They they going over here. They stay smoking. And all I keep saying to myself is, they kid is young. I said, "Ooh, your son gonna be a butthead, and you gonna be mad. You your son gonna be a wee head, and you gonna be mad, and then he not gonna want to play. So when you think you're hiding it, these kids ain't these kids ain't stupid, bro. You ain't hiding it. That Zaza smells, fam. That's... <laughs> yo, yo, you know yo. So on, on, on a side note, right? I think this had to be a while ago, maybe like 2000. Yeah, about 2020, early 2020. Um. I'll be just looking up different things and I'll see your basketball journals pop up. Sometimes I'll be, you know, I, at times I'll be like, okay, can I get some of it up here? Because if I can't get all of it, I don't want to just take some of it and put it up there because you say so much and a lot of stuff makes so much sense. And I want to tell people, if you haven't read it, please go check out Shame the Dribble Machine's basketball journals. Oh, that, now that's how. And how did you start writing that? What made you start that? Just, yeah, it just yo, know, being a product of our environment, um, you you right, you start you start you start remembering how you remember old times and old teachings, right? Um, you you, I started at first. I ain't gonna lie. I started writing it down. I had a diary. I was writing it down. From a kid, um, because at 12, 11, 12, I didn't know what I wanted to become, but I, um, being a mama's boy, in my mind, I said I never was going to work. I never wanted to have a job. Like me, back there, having a job, I, I, um, I'd be away from my mom. So I would write 
little things that I wanted to be. I was always write as a kid. I, um, first thing I, I would write, I'm a growing up wanting to be a, a, a cop. Everybody wanted to be a cop. Then you witness your your friend, a friend or neighbor a guy getting killed by a cop. Oh, I don't want to be that. <laughs> right, right away. This is real talk, right? Right, I right. This, we, I want this that early. It wasn't no riots like people were doing. It happened, bro, and that was just it. Like they killed my little man robot on 233rd. That's from the Eater Wall Project. And it was, and I don't remember no Al Sharp they come in. I don't remember right. his family getting millions of dollars in social media. I just, just remember saying like, damn, like, yeah, I don't know him to be a, like for the cops to kill him. You know what I mean? So, so, so it, it just I was just trying to figure it out. But me, me growing up in a hustler family and just hustling, hustling, hustling. I, I knew, I, I knew one thing. I knew, I, I put my hustling in. Once I learned and one, I learned the business, bro. Like, um, learn. I remember I, I started at thirty two. I barely could walk. I was hurt. I learned the business of getting on TV. So once I learned, like, yeah, hold on. All I got to just put my, if I can get my face on here, hold on. I'm one of the most popular dudes on here, and I ain't shoot a jumper. I ain't bounce a ball. They out here going crazy, doing all this crazy stuff, and I'm just being me. Right? God bless the dead. Escalade said to me one day, yo, Shane, God's, and, I, and, I, and this, is, this is the God's truth, yo, Shane. Guys like me and you always go to be around because there's too many stupid motherfuckers in this world. The real talk, that me and us, and we were talking about just like us, right? I mean, and the reason why he said that because I'm there before him, and he did what I did. He know he ain't doing what God Ali. We got Ali Mo seven twenty. What else going to do? You know what I'm saying? So what he did, he put the hat down low. He went and got tattoos. He stayed in front of the camera. And we worked the camera system, right? We worked. We worked. So when I and one got rid of me, right? They got, right? And and I was on the side. I was still, and people don't know, this is what I mean about the money aspect that I left out. Once we got down with and one, it was popular. We was getting rap money. Um, We was getting so appearance fees. Right? Uh, if you want to shame the dribble machine to come to Kentucky to play one game, I need I need between, depending on who you are, the minimum is a thousand, but mine probably like between a thousand and twenty five hundred. And and we was getting, you know, we was getting a fifty to hundred of those on the side. Mm. Every weekend, bro, we out two games, we out three games, we out, and then. And then we learn from becoming a player. So when they be like, yo, uh, Jim Machine, yo, yo, you want to come out here? Nah, I want to bring a team out there. I need a budget. You know what I'm saying? And then we work the budget. You pay, you know what I'm saying? So it was, we was, we was really, when I tell you, eating over that, I used to laugh, bro. Really, really, yo, I used to like, cause people, I used to look at people like, yo, they be like, yo, I want jerker, y'all. And I, and, and I used to be saying to myself, like, hold on. This is back. This is back then, because I remember this day somebody saying that to me, and I was like, "Yo, I just went out of town for four weeks straight, and I got jerking me." And that's just right, right. But that's. Oh, that's the mind state of people who don't who don't understand the mind state of a hustler. It's somebody who's going to get it no matter what. You know, and, and all your opportunities, hearing your story, you always turn, you know, that Kool-Aid or the grapes into wine. You made it into something. Now, whatever the small thing that they gave you, you made it into something else. Yeah, what that Kool-Aid turned into? It turned it into Kool-Aid turned to wine and turned to champagne. Ask, uh, yo, ask me, ask me what the Kool Aid turned into. What did the Kool Aid turn into? So in junior high school, my Spanish bros they used to uh, had a white suede Pumas. And I want you to try that if you want. If you just want to just the grape, the grape Kool Aid, 
pack or at the other flavor Kool Aid, when you learn where we from the Bronx, you could put them on your white suede Pumas and they turn that color. So when we rocking the exotic Pumas, they be like, I never seen. I know you ain't never see the mystery mix Puma flavor. They just said to put the Kool Aid on the suede Pumas, change the color, change the game. Fire. <laughs> pink. You be like, yo, they got pink suede Pumas with the <laughs> Kool Aid, bro. That's crazy. What? Yo, yo, your man Eric Hicks. I think your man Eric Hicks wants to join. Oh, he must have just came back in. That's crazy. Yo, Shane, are you able to see the picture if I send it to you? Or you got to wait to get off? If you send it to me. All right, I'm going to send it to you right now. I think you should like it, man. My guy. Yeah. I just sent it to you. Oh, you send it to me in this? Yeah, I sent it to you, I sent it to you on your IG. Oh, nah, you got to send it to me on my phone. Uh, but I can't even do that because I'm talking to you on this app. But when you, when, once we finish, you'll have it. And I'm going to post it as well. But yeah, so so like I say, like the Air One stuff, that, that once that started, I'm getting older, bro. Now uh, I'm learning stuff. Um, I, I start, I get into the nonprofit and start, um, my nonprofit organization running a youth basketball team. And I mean, not a team, rather a tournament. So um, I'm from Edelwald. I'm, 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 trying to, I'm trying to find parks. I can't find parks. I find a park on Boston Road, which is not too far from my neighborhood. But I do know growing up, that was, they was cool, but it was a lot of friction over there. So it was like, that's dope. In my mind, that's dope. It ain't going to be in a hood where I'm from, but it's in a hole where we could try to, I could try to get everybody, you know what I mean? To be like, yo, because we older now, right? So, yeah, yeah. Yo, it's been rock I was rocking it out for 10 years. I didn't do it this year, which is, is, I mean, a lot of things changed through one of my partners' death, but one of the things I started was with the youth tournament was, well, I didn't care about the basketball. People thought, but every kid had to write an essay, mm. right? So, I had every kid, you had to write like 100. The younger kids had to write 300 words. The older kids, 500 word essay just to play in the playoffs. So you can play. If you don't write the essay, I don't care if you was Michael Jordan, you're not playing in the playoffs. Right? <laughs> I got great shows. I got everybody. And, and I would have topics. Like I did bullying. I did diabetes. I did um, role models. Every time, like I would have top and you know, and 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 reason why I was doing that, yo, know, because around that time, um, this was right before Jelly Fam and them. I, I forgot who was before them, right? Oh, what's the guy from Brooklyn? Who was the guy from Brooklyn? He was real nice. I went to see him play. I forgot what college. I wonder what happened. He was dumb nice. Well, who, you, who what school he went to? Like, Damn, but as nice as he was in them high school dudes, I was noticing I wasn't seeing no top 100. I wasn't seeing what we used to see in the basketball in the papers. Like, where the New York dudes at? No, we, we yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? But then, not only that, then I realized, hold on. New York, we're not even qualifying. We failing. So all the hype that I'm watching on Instagram and all the hype and the names that I'm seeing, I'm saying, yo, I'm watching all this hype. But are they telling? Are people telling these kids that these names, these hypes are reading, these kids are failing and can't even qualify to even go to college? So you know what I'm right. I'm running the tournament. Oh no, they gotta write essays, man. I don't care. They're gonna learn how to write because, and that's what made me write it. It made me write because I see what's going on. We. We, that we putting the ball first, but we not even qualifying. That's and at this day and age, how you don't qualify when they, you get to use a computer to do your homework? You ever thought about turning those uh, essays into like a book? That those journals uh, that you put together, because you have a lot of them, fam. Yeah, uh, it's crazy. Is so 
I stopped writing. Right? Like 2019 was the last one. Yeah, so look, so I stopped writing and um I started I went game. So I, I got my youngest son, he was playing ball, everything that we talked about stuff, but um I started going into nobody know, I'm gonna tell you, but my son was doing good. He was the way New York was, I started getting worried about my youngest son and I I started going into all the training you've been seeing last, not not now, but maybe seven, five. But I went into a deep, I went into a depression, bro, of not a of of a fear of of being a parent, waking up with nothing but bad energy on knowing not what's gonna happen to your kid. The worst shit you ever could do, right? You know, my freedom was training the kids. And talking to kids, and I would talk to kids, and I and I would get into depression because I would find myself going around talking to kids, yo, don't do this and don't do that, and it's like I'm talking about my own kid, and some of the kids, some of the, not just my kid, but some of the kids that I know around. So like that's so it was, it was then I'm I'm glad my son, my youngest son, 18, he's he, he's about to graduate, yeah, he moved out of he moved out and. Yo, like I tell you, look, yo, know, for like many years I couldn't sleep. Right? I know mm -hmm. people don't know. Um, as a parent, and my son ain't no killer, he ain't no jailbird, but just wanting, like, forget basketball. I don't care about that. I'm talking about winning in life and feeling good. That's the that's the pressure that I wanted. Like, yo, I just want to be able to go to sleep and wake and and knowing if my son or any other kid that I know. Trouble gonna follow you, but are you gonna make the right decision? You know what I'm saying? So now, then once he moved out, I did good. I start yo the last that on the last you know for two two three years I've been yo I started getting sleep, bro, real talk. I started got like I've been like I, I feel good. I always feel not, but because I I know he's in a good a better space. So you know what I'm saying? So I'm not the last like like our communication is great, you know what I mean? Like so that so that part that's the part of life. But other people you don't we don't we don't talk about that. We don't we don't um we, you don't hear about that, right? And and it's a, I'm pretty sure it's mad, but I can imagine a parent that really is going through it, whose son is really out there letting that thing go and supposedly got ops and these kids not knowing if you got beef Son, you gonna bring that shit to my house, and if you got little brothers, or something, like you know what I mean. So, and and now I'm noticing it ain't no community, it ain't no villages. So I'm trying to build the village to, because I'm supposed to be able to say, yo, if my son is, if your, if you got kid, your son is outside, your son come to Bronx and eat a wall. I'm supposed to, he's supposed to know, yo, uh, if he don't call me unk. Yo, uh, uh, yo, my man live over there. You good over there. You know what I'm saying? And everywhere. And and that's the narrative. But, uh, yo, all I'm trying to do, B, is really, I know my purpose in life. My purpose is put the word neighbor back in hood. And and make sure these kids don't end up in no jail and, 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 and become successful no matter what they, I don't care if you're a janitor. Be this be a successful, happy janitor. You know what I'm saying? Regardless, and and that's what I'm living for, bro. I'm gonna keep it real. That's nothing more, nothing Yo, less, nothing, nothing else. Let me tell you something, brother. You know, being on the other side, interviewing guys, hearing guys' stories, uh, been hearing some amazing stories. Uh, this is this is one of them, right? And you know. Uh, I mentioned this, uh, Ephraim Whitehead and Jamal Robinson was the only two other people to go into the stages of the emotional problems that they went through and how they bounced back. Hearing your story, what you went through and how you bounced back. And all three were different. Yeah. All three were different, right? And, and you mentioned the fact that you can imagine what, other parents are going through who kids are in the thick of things. And your son wasn't, and you were still going through that process. Yeah. And the fact that you're here and able to say it and talk about it, brother, I have nothing but the utmost respect for you, even more respect for you than I had before, because 
You know, it takes a real one to say those things. Yo, yo, we at the stage in life, bro. Uh, when, when that that thing called a bathroom mirror, that shit don't lie to you, bro. I can tell you all this fabulous stuff, but when I go in that bathroom, take these glasses off, look at that mirror, the truth gonna look you right in your eye. And what you gonna what you gonna do? You gonna say I tricked them again? No, son. Nah, fam. We yo, that's yo, that's what's wrong with us as people, bro. That's why we can't that's why we can't come together because we can't we can't come together. We don't we can't we yo, we don't know how to love ourselves and say, you know what? You know what? Yo, I fucked up back there. Yo, bro, I spent many years going back apologizing to the referees that are disrespected growing up. And they might mm -hmm. yo, you know what? My bad, son. I remember he, yo that you know what I'm saying? Like I'm keeping like That's like, real. Like that's we real. Been there, bro. Uh, we've been, yo, yeah. referees was getting a dis I, I went saying, yo, that ain't me, bro. But I'm with my team. We we felt we had to chase you out the park. We chased you out, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? But but you gotta like that's like yo, we, we gotta that's how we gotta live. We gotta we gotta go back and learn how to say sorry, fix it. And keep and pay it forward, okay? Or you're gonna be living in a yo, yo, bro. It's a lot of street ballers, ex pros, ex athletes. They living in lives, bro. And that depression is yep. killing them. Yeah, they, yep. living, in, they, living, in, they yep. living in lives, bro. They won't, they, they're afraid to tell their truth because they're afraid what other people gonna think of them. You know what I'm saying? And it's yo, it's been guys. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. It's been guys who I know who I came up with who won't come up to the show because of those same reasons. Because of those, those same things that you're talking about, what people might think of them. At this stage, man, if you don't let it go, man, and, you know, talk through it, talk to somebody. If you don't come on the show, talk to somebody. Yeah, this, this I learned from being around and traveling and listening to other people's stories is somebody might got it. I, somebody might not have it like me. And have a little bit of like, damn, I thought I had it bad. Shit, I'm doing better than him. That's what I want to hear. You know what I'm saying? Yo, bro, that's what I oh, said. I connect oh, with oh, you. Listen, you oh, said so many things that oh, I connect oh, with. Oh, oh, I've been in a um a vegetable, um, my vegan store. And I'm talking, we talking about kids. And I'm talking the same thing. I'm talking to a, a brother, and he started pouring out crying because he's going, he thought he was the only one going through it. And and and, I, and all I told him is, yo, bro, believe it or not, we no matter what, we have to stay, yo, you talking about the fathers, the, the, yo, the father, we need more fathers now than anything, bro. And if you don't got a father, we need an uncle. If you don't got an uncle, we need a big brother. If you don't got a brother, we 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 need we need home. We need that, especially with the youth. All it's gonna continue to be what it is. It's gonna be a bunch of young dudes that's looking at guys like me and you, other guys, and then they they respect us, but in their mindset, in their mindset, they said, "I give it to them, though, if I have to." You know what I'm saying? Yo, it's so crazy, man. So crazy. When I was 24 years old, graduating from college, there was no more basketball for me because my mom had passed away four months after I graduated. My sister was on crack for 23 years, and I took care of all my sister kids. At 24, I had two girls, had them for a few years, and then my sister passed, and I raised my nephew. And they're all grown and they're doing well now. And, so, and, and, and sacrifice guess, is what we know. And guess what you ain't, and, and through all of that, you ain't have time to in, to raise yourself to enjoy. Your brother, remember I told you, I was taking my brother on a, a 10 years old on a train. That's from the last stop all the way to 20, what's that, 28th Street? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I came from them, not my mom, but I came from that same a, a, a family to where you go to your aunt house and spend a night, and you can't even leave your clothes. You can't even leave your clothes in there. The shits won't be there, bro. You know what I'm saying? You um, 
you you can you fuck around and put your shit under the tree on Christmas. That shit ain't gonna be there, bro. Motherfucker, nigga, the nigga might be playing video games at the block with your with your Christmas gift on. <laughs> Real talk. I've seen that. You know Real what I'm talk. So, so and 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 we ain't going back to that, but mentally we going back to that. We acting like it's the crack era. We don't have to act like that. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> and, and 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 everybody's trying to hit a home run and win through sports, bro. Everybody trying to go D. Everybody trying to go D one. You got the parents that say they go. Yo, the the new the new lie is this. I'm just trying to get that free education. No, you ain't. Cause soon as your son they get a run, y'all transfers. And he ain't even going Cause to now I tell recruiting. parents that transfer portal is messed up high school recruiting. So a lot of these dudes gotta go to junior college just because no D one colleges are recruiting them, and or they gotta go D two or D three. But a lot of those I heard the dudes who ain't not getting what they're supposed to in D one are going to D two and D three. Tyler Hero, he made he made D, what? The Miami Heat got to the championship from D three. Dudes, like I can go anywhere now. Yo, D most D a lot of D two dudes only D they not D two because they not nice. They do because they 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 situations that they put them in. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So so like like that yo. But that's what but that's what's going on right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I watch. I'm looking at the. I like the high school basketball. I'm looking at it, but. I, I I always want to ask. I never want to know about who's. I never would have really. I love about who's nice now, but me, I want to know who's next. I don't, who's next? Right. That's all. I, if you tell me somebody, I'm gonna ask you who's next. And then when you tell me that, I'm gonna say, "Where? Who's next? At, who's next? Because where's our kids that's from eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve years?" That we knew what they expect for something. You know, again, eighty percent people knew Stephon Marbury was, had a higher chance since he was ten. Kenny Anderson, the, all of those guys, the Pearl Washington, they knew early. Kenny Smith, these dudes were doing stuff early on that people had an idea. Like you know what, they can go. They got a chance to go. We don't have that right now. Nah, we we got. Um, we got the trainer who put the ball in your hand, and he go, yo, do that James Harden shit. <laughs> we got, yo, I got some kids. But I think, I think, I think too, the trainer, the trainer be, uh, gained a lot of power because the coaches stopped teaching. Nah. Not the coaches, because... Coaches. I'm not gonna say all coaches. coaches I'm not gonna say all coaches. Most but a lot of the things that these trainers was, was, are teaching, my coach is no, teaching me in the fucking eighty. No, yo, you said it right, but I'm talking to you as a trainer. And why, right? You wanna, you wanna, you wanna put me out of business? Go to the park and play ball and learn on your own. <laughs> You know what the trainer is? The Sunday morning run. These kids don't they don't know how to play twenty one. They don't even know what that is. Yo, a kid don't know. You put a kid out there and you put him out there. No kid know the kid. Don't no, know I got I, I got exactly what you said. The kid now. don't know this mean. Look, yo, my ball. Yo, my ball, my ball. You walk, you travel, man. Yo, my, yo, yo, you receive, yo. That that's how we learn the game, bro. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. There's no more right of passage where the older guys pass it down to the younger guys. You're right. Now you're right. You 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 never played on a Sunday morning, so you don't know how to make your own goal. You didn't play twenty one where or what or, or other games where as you versus the whole crew. So now when you eight nine when you go play in the tournament, you like I put in one of my children, you're a sponge. So if you get the wrong teaching, and or he, or sometimes you get a coach that just is a, maybe a parent, and he just think he's doing the right job by helping out about coaching, 
but now you're actually doing it. You're supposed to say, yo, that ain't my job. I'm not a coach. I didn't play it. I don't know the X's and O's. Is. I'm not going to mess around with that. But you get the ones that mess around with it, that in those couple of years, the kid never learned how to play. So now they're trying to find a program. Now they program happen. And now you now, now your program happen. We're in the early age. You say, yo, you know what? I got it. I'm going to start my own AAU team. And we're going to be the elite all-star. And they put the word elite. I'm a gra- Everybody think this elite. Right? And then and then you get the you get your team. But but the problem is you get in it for the right. If you're a parent, then you get it and you're the coach because you're the, it's your team and you got your son and you build it around your son, then you're doing it this. If you're gonna get the team and you're gonna do it, don't coach. That's real. Right? Just get Right, get it. don't coach. Move as a, go find a coach, right? Like the team I'm a part of the primary got it. I'm the coach, right? Like I'm like he got the he helped me get the players, but he never played. Why would he coach? You know what I'm saying? So go find a coach and let them teach the kids. If you lose, so what? Stop Real talk. Stop putting these goddamn 13, 12 year old kids in these younger tournaments and they not doing and they barely doing work and you think they doing work. They not learning. If your son is not that good and he's the nicest guy on your team, he's on the wrong team. Mm. Who's going to get him better? He says, uh, Shane keeping it un, unfiltered on steroids tonight. Yo, if you haven't checked out Shane's live... Not- I'm this keeping is Shane. It right, bro. I'm Shane keeping is always keeping it 100. I don't think he you know any other way. It's my guy, Eric Hicks. Our guy, Eric Hicks, showing you love. What up? Hi. Yo, Eric Hicks, my man. My man, Eric. My man, the referee, E. Weaver. So, look. So, E. So e Weaver, that's why E. Weaver. Oh, yes, my guy. What up, what up, E? So what up, E? E. Weaver is one of the referees. That we got a great relationship because he's one of the referees that I apologize because he'll tell you I come from the coach that the yo know, if you're growing up if you playing and a coach calls you a bitch ass nigga you's a bitch ass I, you know what I'm saying the coach calls you that's what you you are what the coach say you are and right so we get caught up we get caught up in that and then if we get caught up with I learned too bro and that game though. We at least some people might just not like us because yo you somebody it's it's people that don't like you because you bust the ass at fifteen, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they they held on to and they, and they holding on to it. They holding on to it. Yo, you, you, I tell people you gotta hold on to it. I ain't worried about bro, it. Bro, you called them a bomb. You got in their face and they don't realize like man that was that was thirty years. It ain't about like yo most. Like me, me, I call it. I learned this from Sam Worthington, being around Sam a lot. As my OG, Sam yeah. Is, right? You won't catch Sam talking too much about basketball because what did he tell you? I don't like to talk about yesteryear. I like to pay it forward. You know what I'm saying? I don't like like those those those. those it's great, but if you ain't telling to their kid. To help them get better, or you telling the kid, I'm telling you back in my days, yo, I was this, I was that, and then somebody else comes along that was better than you. You better keep that say. I, I've, I've been there, bro. I watched parents like, yo, I was at a game today. Parents said he was joking. This is my man, they don't know. I'm at the youth game in the corner. I see the, I used to train this kid, whatever. whatever. The parent comes to me and go, yo. Yo, yo, you missed it. Yo, my son just had almost 20. I've been there the whole game. So I look at him and go, no, he didn't, son. I've been here. I've been standing the whole game. He's been giving the ball and moving out the way. <laughs> so, so the parents, like, in that range, like, no, no, no. My son was joking saying that. No, he wasn't. <laughs> You thought you was gonna fool me. He thought he thought he got one over on you. Thought I just got there, but you know what I'm saying. But but again, and then again, it's one. I didn't. I'm trying to tell him I don't even care. 
I don't I don't care about a nice 10, 11. I don't try. I've seen a million of them. Yeah. Yeah. They, at, at some of them start playing, some of them make it. No um no like my guy, he was one of the nicest growing up. Household name, my guy Yoda. Yeah. Yeah. He After, everyone when we were younger. Everyone was talking about Yoda. Everyone was like, he's going to be the next brother one. brother Marquise had the best. If you want to talk about boy handling, Yoda, youngest brother Marquise is right along with Shamgard. Wow. Right now? I'm talking about, if we talk about boy handling as a kid growing up. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. Everybody right. about Yoda, little brother, they Marquise, they're going to tell you, yo, him and Sham, like, if, if, if people know about it, it's, Unbelievable handle, bro. Un unbelievable handle. You know what I'm saying? The real, the real uh, Josiah said thank you for the advice and the game today. I appreciate that's, you. I won't let you down. That's my young boy. I'm just coaching. Um, he's Josiah's ten. I told him I can make him a a Zion Williams to understand the game. You know, but but he's still young. He's still know, but. I'm gonna tell you what I like about that young kid right there. I just he just started playing with me, and one thing about as a teammate, as a kid at that age, when you just come along, and I got white kids, black kids, whatever. But to that age, and you play two games, and uh, and by the second game, you know everybody's name. That that's big, right? Yeah, we he's gonna be successful in life. Period. Whatever he does, right? right? You're a people person. That's right. You coach, yo. We won the game. One of the kids that really don't get no run. I, he had a remarkable, great game. Desire's a starter. Desire at the end of the game, we won. He ran and he said, "Yo, Blake is MVP today." He didn't pout and say, "Damn, while well, Blake got." He came and said, "Yo, Blake," and not yo, and he don't know. I thought I was like, "Yo, that, that right." That's a home run right there, bro. You got kids that didn't play. Salute Josiah. You got kids that play. You got kids that that you may win, and they play bad, but you won, and they mad. Like, yeah. Nah, man. Yo, I, yo, we won. Yo, it was today. Was today was his day. He can't. He can't. You know, the game of basketball is, is going to be somebody's night every night. And people got to realize, um, I want parents to realize, in the game of basketball, when you get to a phase, you're going to have a Michael Jordan on your team. You're going to have an Ivan Iverson on your team. You're going to have a Steph Curry on your team. Me, so what, basically what I'm trying to say is you're going to have a player on your team who the coach or somebody is that's going to take the most shots. You're going to have that. Your job ain't to become to, to to compete with that player. Your job is in terms of parameters, how do you become that player? Right? So, so you can't watch other kids take shots. If yo, but he takes shots, nah, that's not how it go. Cause when you get to high school, you might be on a team where guess what? Uh you may play with a Lance Stevenson and your job is to give that nigga the ball every night. Facts. Back. And move Back. every night. And if you don't like it, leave. But I, I but know some pros. And Shaquille Stokes went there. Yeah. He, he he they all found a way to still go D1 and 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 and, and knowing knowing yo, how do you go you gotta learn how to play, get to a game. Like I believe I say Michael Jordan because or Al Alvarez is can you imagine coming to the game every night knowing he's taking 30 shots? Knowing. And ain't nothing you could do about it, but we still trying to win. Don't That's go real, and take, man. Don't go in and, and compete with them. Go in and, and fit in. Make his 30 shots comfortable and get yours. You know what I'm saying? Play the right. Do like I did growing up. I played with a guy that's a nut. I had to, I had to, I, yo, bro, I used to have to beg players to play with certain players that was on my team because they felt they was a nut. And I would, be, and I would say, yo, don't worry about them going nut. I'm running a point. I'm gonna make sure you get. They're gonna get there, but you you're gonna get yours too because I'm gonna wave them through so many times and I'm going to you. But if you're not doing what you're supposed to do, 
You ain't getting it. I got it. to go nut, bro. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Say so you don't have to do a you have to do your job to be a good teammate and win. Oh, you have to do your job. That's right. That's right about that. You gotta play the role, bro. When how you say yeah. he was killing everybody, yo. It's it's never gonna be five KDs on the team, right? We Future just, Zion Williams. Yeah, that's my young boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, All right. But Listen. Wait, before I gotta get my young boy, I'm gonna tell my young boy one thing though. Go ahead, go ahead. My young boy, but you got a curfew on social media, young boy. You shouldn't be on here. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you didn't do 500 push ups, 500 lunges, 500 squats, 500 that, if you ain't running the stairs, yo, yo, hit me on social media before 7 o'clock, B. You, I like, yo, young Zion, it's time to go nighty night, son. <laughs> Look at Coach. Still, still a coach. Got Look at that, I man. Love him. I love and him. And a role model. That's good. I like that energy with him. I like that. That's dope. All right, all right, Dribble. We're going to get into top five, right? Our top five. Top five players from N1. Since the beginning? Uh, wait, wait a minute. I can't. No. You're, it, it, Listen, I can't. I'm not. Whatever you think. I'm excluding Skip, all right? I got to exclude Skip. Okay, okay, okay. And I'm, I'm taking away myself. You don't have to, but go ahead. And I'm, take, I'm taking away because cause it's a lot of hoopers in there tonight. Everybody always going to name A.O., right? Okay, okay. Yeah, I can go with guards alone. Um, I can't disrespect um, Bad Santa. You know who that is? Uh, Kenny, I heard the name. Kenny I don't Bruna. know. Who? Kenny Bruner. Yes, yes, so, yes. So if you know about Kenny Bruner, he's from Cali. He, he's the only, when you mention Kenny Bruner, you mention Baron Davis. That's the only one. They they played they played the high school. They played the high school together against each other, and they was like he was kind of giving them like he was kind of giving them the works. Oh, okay, he okay. Went, he went the jail, Georgetown. So, but Kenny Bruner, damn, hey, yo, those my damn. I like Fridge too, yo. I like Fridge, Circus. I got damn. I can't go. I gotta go with my. I I got more than I got. Main. I got half. Go get it, baby Shaq. We got more. Than <laughs> yeah, we we really got. We got different positions. We got more than. Right, right, right. I came in New York during this phase and we played against. Nobody gonna talk about that game on 145th. Great game against the A butter, the Terminator. T two, the John Strickland's, the um, the, all of them, and we beat them. Mm. So, I, is there any video of that online? Yes, sir. Ball for real, ball for real. That's when we split the company. Remember, so we ain't get this. Is what I'm saying, we got like a three part, like joint because we still get we and one. We didn't even get to, you know, we left and wanted to start our own company, Ball For Real. No, I didn't know. Now, was was Big Shane a part of that? Nappy? Captain Nappy? Nappy is before and one existed. He was in a row with us. Nappy's at the beginning stage, but he didn't get that call because Nappy was already Nappy. Yes. Right? Nappy yes. was already almost... Entering retirement stage of got you, you know, got you, got you. Like him and Seth Marshall, right? They, yes, yes. They, they, uh, Seth was with me too, but they, that new style of game, the N one, they was totally against it. Wasn't with, yes. Didn't fit their style of game. It was like nah. 
You know what I'm saying? I, 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 yeah, yeah. I remember talking to him about that. You're right. But but they were right. there in the beginning with us, and we made yo. But I, I, they went on all my tours with me. We had separate tours. We, I made sure it was me, then Nap, Seth. I got some funny stories about them too. But yeah, word. Okay, all right. Now, top five players in New York City history, and since your top five is, you know, you named a few more. But when you got down to your five of and one, I don't think people would have been able to identify. They identified a player, but probably didn't believe you. <clears throat> they would you picked those names. guys, right? The guys that you picked are so different I from everybody else. Play, play. I'm picking guys that can do it on both levels and on a, on a professional, on a college level. Street ball level, you know what I'm saying? It was because because we got and one got confused with entertainment and street ball. Yes, right. Yes. We got the entertainment. We got some of the greatest entertainers as well, right? You no, know, like Sauce Fest. Now you put them in there and they ent entertainment, but the, to put them in like the Gersh tournament and expect them that's to, not happening. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They they gonna think, but Ayo hey, put them, Ayo hey, put them in the girls. So we we trying to win it. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, gonna, right. Gonna come out. So that, but now New York history again. It's like with God. I grew up loving Raw Strickland, everybody's favorite. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Raw. He needs to know that Raw Strickland is everybody's favorite point guard. Kenny A, Kenny A is almost the same ever with me, so I I I I don't I don't idolize him because we it's I, I respect I get you I get you though. I get you though. It was more of respect because he was great and he set a ball, but he's not the guy that I was a kid watching growing up say I wanna be he was the guy that I wanna hopefully play against him, right? So you wanted to get at him, right, right. Like, See where you stood. Like Rod, Kenny, Mark Jackson. Mark, let me see that. NBA prep team was nice to me. Bernard King. He's on my five. Definitely. Killer. Like, yeah, and I'm talking about like these people that I kind of saw, like, and they from New York. I'm staying in New York. Pearl. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. He was the culture changer. He was the culture changer. For, especially for New York guards. Yeah, I see. He was like the, played three times only, and the rest was on right. So I didn't see all of the high school. I never see none of that. But when I heard the stories and then start looking at the old footage, I was and look at him laughing at like laughing yes, yes. <laughs> in, in a big time college game. He was laughing. Yeah, yo, yo, and then yo, they know like they, some stories add up. You know what I mean? So. Like like Pearl, like like a Pearl. I like the Pearl. And I like the Chris Mullen too, yeah. Yes, he's on my father as well. Yeah. It's crazy, but that's it's like Rod in Brooklyn. Right? It's like Yeah, Rod. yeah, yeah. And yeah. The, and the rest, yeah. And the rest and the, your Brooklyn do got the most borough, right? The, I mean the, the most ball players because they're the biggest borough, right? Yeah. And and you know, rest in peace, Tom Kachowski. He did the uh if there's a, a documentary, it's like a, a five-part series that they did on NBA TV. They talked about all the barrels. And Tom Kachowski said, you know, that New York has a lot of ball players all over, but some of the best ball players come from Brooklyn. Now, it's a lot of us. It's a big, and just like rappers, it's and just like rappers only ball. one of us come out. Only one of us come out. It's not like a lot of us come out. We can pick one. And they put one on the pedestal, and the rest we thug in the fight to get out. So I think that's why it's like that. Queens a little bit more spread out. Bronx and Manhattan a little bit more spread out. Brooklyn, we on the top of each other fighting to get the hell out. Y'all the biggest borough, so yeah, of course y'all gonna have. And we have the most people. Yeah. Y'all y'all gonna have the y'all gonna have the biggest everything. Yeah. The biggest crimes, the most <laughs> everything. There's, there's a bunch of people. So Bronx, Bronx is. Uh, I I talk about street ball sometimes. I talk about Rucker Park because we all grow up. And so here's the stereotype. I love this, right? Cause we talk. Why 
Why do Brooklyn say this? Yo, the uptown dudes is nice, but they're scared to cross the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, yo, Shane. That's a yo. quote. Words of, yo, yeah, we was, talk about we this. Said Brooklyn, Me, respect. Tiny, Bud, a lot of us Brooklyn dudes. Because when we were young, my man Pat Burke, we were talking about this yesterday. When we were young, Shane, we had to go everywhere. And, and now that we look at it, it wasn't a lot of popping tournaments in Brooklyn. We had Brevoort, right? We had Soul in the Hole, Kingston. It wasn't a lot. Dunk is the right? So we can say that. But, but, from the, the, the amount of tournaments that we had, the guys didn't come over. Not that many. Or not when I was coming up. And then I heard, you know, Malloy said he used to go down to Dean Street. Even Kenny. Kenny was like, yo, Anton used to bring me down to Dean Street. Me, right? Hey, me, and I was like a safe haven for guys to go play ball. We been huh? play one a couple of games that Dean Street joined together back in the days. Yeah, see, yeah. But but what it is too is though. But then, because the Rucker Park came out, and it was it was more popular, right? Nobody. It, well, uptown? You talking about uptown? Yeah, just no, yo. Before before Rucker, boys of yesteryear, citywide. Uh, we had the hundred fifty fifth Linux tournament. We that's where we was going. We was going up to the church and yeah, was you know, UDC, all these Brooklyn. different tournaments. We yeah. had that's where we had to go make our name. And and we was just standing, we was like, yo, Brooklyn, man, that's shit three hours from there. <laughs> <laughs> and we might have to fight. And and yo, none of the none of the train, none of the parks and by the train stations. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with y'all, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that, I don't know how they set it up like that. Now, now because we have so many tournaments, it's different, right? But back then, I, I, I understand. From 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 where I live at now in the Bronx, it's dudes. It's, uh, not a lot, but you know how long it takes to get the Gersh, bro. Yes, yeah, almost three hours, two hours, bro. <laughs> yeah, it take almost That's real. fifty minutes to drive the Gersh. Who that Joe? You could be almost in Philly in fifty minutes. <laughs> and you, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it was. I think, and then back then, it wasn't a lot of driving. So for us, that's a hell of a train ride. That is. That is. That is. That is, that is. To the game, and and we don't now. We didn't know that it wasn't no checks being cut. Oh yeah, you come to Brooklyn, you playing for free. It's like you had to be, you had to be really special for a dude to give you a, a, a nice stack in Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? So, so once the money, once street ball money start being made, you know, man, I'm getting, you get money from Forest Tournament to 55th to Dykeman, God bless the dead, the um, Con Hans little tournament, so. Like I said, the the hustlers and all the hustlers seemed like they was in Harlem and, and Rucker Park. We, we Listen, a, that that is so crazy. Yeah, but then I had people like, yo, this nigga, this nigga never crossed that bridge. One of my mans told me that he was like, yo, Shane, I ain't gonna front. I give you your props, but the reason why I'm giving you your whole prop. Now mind you, this is a guy who ran the tournament. I done got 65 and won it. I got the seven feet choke in this tournament. And he's wow. telling me, yeah, I give you a pause, but I never saw you in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> and when I told him I played in a feline thing. And yeah, was, yeah, yeah. He's like, well, I never knew that. And I said, first of all, I gave nigga 65 in your tournament, and you talk about Brooklyn. Then, but I played against the book, the UDC, right? Yeah, yeah, uh huh. We won it five, six years in a row. It's always a nice, famous debate. I love debate. It was Brooklyn teams in that. It was a Brooklyn team in the tournament. Uh huh. 
So the Brooklyn players, they said, I think they must have won it, but they couldn't have won it when I won it because I'm telling you, we won it five, six years in a row. And when I tell them that I remember playing against them and beating them, they get amnesia. <laughs> they get amnesia. They get... I, and I remember when, when I had a lawyer in the show and you came on and we was talking about that. And you was like, I was in Brooklyn. The guy playing the field I'm talking about. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, that's why, that's why. And they cheated us in that joint. My my man, my coach, family lived in Red Hook. So at a young age, I would go out there with the Red Hook. So dudes used to be like, bro, I should be like, yeah. Like, man, I remember playing. I remember being in Red Hook in 84. Woo! You know what I'm saying? 84. 84. But you are far, you are far between the few. Trust me. You know not that many. You're probably, I can count on. My one hand, how many guys from uptown in Queens came to Brooklyn to play? Yeah. Yo, that feel I told him, it was at, it was at a, yo, I'm talking about when it first started, bro. Yo, we were undefeated. Yo, they, they forfeited us in the championship game because we were two minutes late. Straight Brooklyn shit. Straight Brooklyn shit. All right. We, we're going to end it on this note right here. Right? We came on talking about hip hop, right? And since you mentioned Conway, right? Who I just put my guy up on. You, you, you think a guy in that era should know who the hell Conway is, right? But that's another story. Um, top five hip hop artists. We already all time. Is this, it, ain't, it ain't no, no number, but because this is my debate for one and two. Okay. Biggie and Jay. That's always going to be a debate. I'm going to listen. I love Biggie. I'm going to keep it real. I've always been the, the dude. I've always been the dude but like, yo, fam. It's just something about what Jay says to me. Right? And I like what Jay and how he said, but I like Big. Biggie, Jay, they ain't going to change. Nas, Tupac, Biggie, Jay, Nas, Tupac. I'm gonna go with the the last the last one. I'm gonna give it to three people because I can't. Kane, Kooji Rap, and Cash One. Don't, don't, there, there you go, there you go, and then we put Rock Kim down, beat him up, Russell Wall. Oh, that's why I put them. I put them all in that. Yes, yes. Yo, I hear Kane say he was supposed to battle Rock Kim. That would have probably been the greatest battle of all time. Yeah, Rakim probably the lost because Rakim is not a battle rapper. Let me tell you, Big Daddy Kane, <clears throat> I went from having this dude on my wall in college to rapping with this dude. Like, right? To him, like, idolizing this dude to being over his house and us being friends. Right? That's I put up dope. a post that says, Big Daddy Kane said that, you know, I was good as an MC, so I retired. Like, I'm done. Never writing another rap ever again. Somebody said Biggie, J, Biggie, J, DMX, Beanie. Beanie, C Beanie. That's my, that's my young boy. That's a rapper. That's why he put it. Okay, in. hey, okay. I see what you're saying, that. Yeah, he's fire, too. He's fire rap, too. That's why he's Really? He came. He's from Philly. He's fire, fire. Okay, okay. Okay, listen. But all Kane, great yo, MCs. You rap with Kane, yo. Yes, I got. I rap with Kane. I freestyled on the uh, Stretch Armstrong and Barbito show with Jay Z, Kane, and the Rangers. Right. Did my first show with Big, standing like right here next to us. I Shane. We gonna definitely go talk. I'm, I'm gonna come on your joint. We can talk. Oh, so you was on. You was on your way. Oh yes, right then. But then we got caught up in the East Coast, West Coast beef, and then Easy Mo B never signed to Puffy as a hitman. Right? It's a lot of shit that. So it's gonna be in my book. Trust me. Yeah. See, you like it's, me? It's, like a lot of shit they don't know. 
it was, I was so caught up in between. And it's so crazy because people who knew me in the music world never knew I played ball. And people who knew I played ball never knew I rap. It was so crazy. Yeah, it was but so this, crazy. I'm about to set it up, yo. You got to battle Reed Dollars, yo, on the Smack DVD. Oh, I, I, I did not tell you I'm done, fam. I am done. Yeah, you can go on my page. And I the last verse I did was with my kids, maybe like 2013, 2014. They convinced me to do a cypher with them. And I, after I did it like two years in a row, I, I said, I'm, I'm retired. I'm good. Yeah, you can't fuck with y'all. You look like a set of battery with you and Head Ice, yo. <laughs> yo, yo, you know I know who all those bumpers are. So don't, you you say a name, trust me, I know exactly who all those guys are. That's the why, because they older. They still in it a little bit. Bro. Yeah, but I'm good. I'm good. I ain't into playing myself. No, because speaking about hip-hop, let me ask you something. The way that Smack Battle was now, you being you, do you see yourself? Being in that era, the way they doing now, they took a bunch of kids. They in your face. They doing a the fake dunk on you and elbowing you and all type of. Yeah, I I was more of a song maker. Like I have a catalog feel of music. I do a verse with a motherfucker quick, whether you on or not. Like I I have enough in my catalog where I could be like, oh, yeah. Oh, so, oh, so oh, that's dope. That's. I definitely I definitely have a I definitely have a some you know. Some joints cocked in the stands that nobody ever heard before. I, ask, I just I put up a joint Vanessa with my you. group at Easy Mo B. If you go on my page, it says the nation featuring Easy Mo B. And if y'all guys who never heard Easy Mo B, the producer of rap, check out this joint. I got yo. I'm gonna ask Law Finesse because Law Finesse was around the era with Bad Boy, Easy Mo B, with the beat makers. Or I think he was part if of that you, beat maker. If, if you ask, don't that do you go to the source and be like Easy Mo B? We're on his album that he put out now or never. So we got joined in there with Corrupt. And then we got a, a joint called Sex Money and Drugs that was on there. And then I'm on the joint, and me and my guy Infrared's on the uh, RB joint with uh, my guy Dave Morris. Yo, the royalty checks should be coming in, B. Come on, man. Man, don't, we, don't, we don't count those pennies, but it all, it, as long as it all come in, it's all good. Right. For sure. Yo, let me tell you, brother, this has been one of the most entertaining and definitely longest interviews that I've done so far. I had so much fun. <laughs> I would love to do this again anytime. Yep. Whenever you want to come on, whenever you want me to, whenever, whatever you want, yo, G. I, got I want to come up to the Bronx. I want to walk around the neighborhood with you. You show me around. I want to see what you're doing with your training and with your AU program, the youngsters, and document that and, and highlight all that for that's you, man. For that Eric Mobley day that we're doing, God bless the day, my man. That's that's a perfect time because that that's paying tribute to one of the ones who was a number 18 draft pick from a neighborhood. And when I talk about training, that was one that was my first people. What Look at that. Training, you know what I'm saying? So number draft 18 draft pick. Just, we're gonna do. I'm gonna keep. We gonna do something big. What 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 day? You, you know what day? It's the second Saturday in August. So I believe it's the 14th. Oh, that's good. Cause it's seven, okay, that 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 should work. Just send me the stuff. And I want to say this too. Uh, one of the main reasons why I started this show because we lost a lot of our guys who never got a chance to tell their story. You know, and we lost right. my guy Mo Kirby, and then we start Lee Green, and then you know. Uh, Dave Evans, then it just started rolling, right? Always with all all of me, them, man. But I was with Dave because he coached my tournament. I was with Lee at the damn game, same, at the at the Nick game. I was with Chris Brooks. I was with this guy. You know what I mean? No, yo, we listen. We definitely lose, and we at the age, um, bro. We gonna witness more deaths than we gonna witness um life. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. But we got to do our job to make sure that they, their names still, you know, a, yeah. stay alive while we're here so people can do it for us. That, that, that bloodline can't just end. You know what I'm saying? It can't end. So that we just, 
again, but no, like when I say that, right? Because we know they say when you when you go to they say yo nobody has an asp like that, no aspiration date. So knowing that, me knowing that, all I can say to myself is knowing that, how do I, um, I want my, I want, well, I hate to say God forbid, but I want my funeral pack, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to know how somebody is? Go to their funeral. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I told them, I, I, I don't want, and it's just, I'm going to say this on live, my nieces already know. I don't want no sad music. I don't want my music playing. Oh. I don't want no preacher. Save that time for the people who want to talk and yeah, say this yeah, story ask about. My boys, ask Farm. He's right here to tell you. He tell you, Farm. Um, God, God forbid, but at my funeral is ten dollars for the females, twenty dollars for the dudes. They get it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. I will sell. You go. You gonna sell my t. You gonna make a t-shirt and sell me. Sell me on it anyway. So fuck it. Let me get some door. Let me get some of that door money, b. And you can bring hookah and everything, yo. I'm having twenty dollars shirts. R.I.P. homie. R.I.P. I already have that shit. Yo, yo, and 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 I want to get. I might. I'm thinking about getting cremated because. That's 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 number I want, one. I don't want I, want, I don't want to be I want no statue. Ashes, being that I'm single, I want to take my ashes, and every chick that I mess with, I want to give my ashes to them, right? And I want them to take those same ashes and put it in a bowl of chili and eat it, so I can tear their ass up one more time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, brother, if you don't become a stand-up comedian in your side job, man, I don't know what you're waiting for. God yeah. damn. But what? And, it, and it, it's not really, it's the punchline is dope, but the story that leads to the punchline <laughs> is right? crazy. You know what I'm saying? So that's even crazy. <laughs> wow, Yo, somebody you know. going to use that, though. Somebody going to Yo, say brother, that. listen. <laughs> I know. The next time somebody pass me a messed up uh, report card or grades from college, you know what I'm gonna tell them, right? You can't even you can't even get back into high school with these shits. <laughs> Already got it, fam. Word. No doubt, man. Y'all appreciate you coming on, man. Definitely, Thank definitely, you, brother. Definitely. That that New York City brotherhood, that connection is awesome, man. So. I want to stay in contact with you. Check out that picture. And when I do, when I make it up to the Bronx, I'll bring that picture with me. Yeah, definitely. Got you. Got you, bro. All right. Bro, Appreciate bro. you, bro. Yo, salute for everybody that's ch ch checked in, too, yo. Yo. Thank you. Big Thank man, you. Big man BX13, that's my guy um, who lost his, his younger brother. That's Eric Mobley's older brother. That's like a... R.I.P. R.I.P. No, always going... Let, let them know, listen, we about this Eric Mobley Foundation is on its way. We got big things coming. We plan on giving a thousand dollars to a kid every year and, and a computer every year. So we I'm a, I'm gonna put you on we put we a lot of big things about to come up, bro. Right, and whatever you need me to promote and post on my page, just send it to me and it's all good. No doubt, no doubt. Salute. Bro. And I'm definitely gonna support behind that. Salute my brother. All right. No doubt. Wow.